Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be testing yet another foundation. I'm not sure if it's new or if it's just new to me. But today I'm going to test out the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation. So if you would like to see how it covers acne and how long it wears on an oily acne prone skin, then just keep on watching. <music> As always, I like to read a little bit about the foundation and what it does, what the claims are. You know the drill. The first thing I want to say is obviously the shade range of this is terrible. It goes as far as cream beige, which honestly looks like it wouldn't even be my contour shade. It goes up to like maybe a light medium. There's no tan or if you're deep or very deep, there's no way you could use this foundation. The shade range is awful. It was even with the original Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation, the liquid one. I really, really like this. But again, the shade range is terrible. There's like five shades. Let's just read the claims because I could babble on about this forever a long wear foundation stick get that insta worthy skin whenever and wherever you are with wet and wilds photo focus stick foundation lightweight long wear and buildable the foundation has been tested under seven photo lighting conditions on different skin tones on different skin tones five different skin tones not even five because like the first two shade would match me. To be fair, if you could, if you blended it out properly, all of the shades would match me. And there's five, five. Of course, they're gonna look good with and without flash to ensure it is selfie perfect every time. Perfect for on the go touch ups. The medium to full coverage stick foundation is infused with argan oil to moisturize and seamlessly blend. Not really happy that it's got oil in it, but it could work. Medium to full coverage. Obviously, photo focus, the name suggests it. It's supposed to be a really good foundation for pictures taking that tested out on seven photo conditions on different skin tones with and without flash really made me like angry because they tested it under seven different conditions but they didn't even make seven shades let's zoom it in let's put this foundation on let's wear test it I need to calm down, I'm so angry. <laughs> so as always, I will try two different applications. I'm going to try a damp sponge on one side and a brush on the other. Because this is a stick foundation, I personally reckon the brush will look better. I don't know how much to put on, it doesn't tell me. Apply to prepped and primed skin, blend with a beauty sponge or fingertips. I personally wear a lot of foundation. Oh, by the way, the grammar isn't great either for this. So far, not happy and we haven't even started. The shade might be all right though. This might seem a lot for some people, but I like full coverage, so I wear a lot of foundation. Let's try blending it out with a sponge. This is my face with one layer of the foundation in comparison to my bare face. It does claim to be buildable, but I'm going to try a brush on the other side. Maybe a brush will not soak up product. I always use the Expert Face Brush from Mel Techniques for my foundation application. There is no major difference between the two. The brush was a little bit quicker. I really like how this foundation looks on my chin, above my lip and on my nose because it's not heavy. It's, it's got very light coverage. I don't like to wear a lot of foundation in those three areas. So I like that. I like it on my forehead as well. Didn't cover that one big spot. On my cheeks, obviously, 
it's not that good of a coverage. This is the other side of my face with one layer of the foundation in comparison to my bare face. I don't know whether it will build, but let's give it a try. So far, not as bad as I thought it would be. It's definitely nowhere near as oily as I thought it would be. And I'm going to stick with the sponge. And this is both sides of my face with two layers of the foundation in comparison to my bare face. So the side where I don't have as much acne is covered pretty nicely. It's still not full coverage, it's very high coverage. This side obviously has a lot more acne in the jaw area and I have like really raised acne right here. Overall, I don't mind the whole look. Let's test out other formulas on top of this. Some foundations don't like to mix with other formulas. That's why I do it. I test out cream bronzer on top of foundations and a liquid concealer and then I powder. Those are the three different formulas that you could possibly use on your skin. You could probably use gel like something like a jelly texture but let's just stick with those three so i'm going to bronze with my revolution matte base concealer in 13.5 as always that blended in really well no major issues i expected it to blend in well because they are both creams let's try a concealer this is the catrice liquid camouflage blended in just fine the more I wear it, the more I like it. I only wish it had like the tiny little bit more coverage. But this side of my face looks really, really nice. So if you don't have as much acne, you might like this. People with dry skin, if you have flaky skin, not gonna work. It does kind of collect around my dry areas. Okay, let's set this. The foundation isn't too oily, but it is creamy, so I do want to set it. And then for the rest of my face, all I do is use what I have on my face to tap it in. Again, it almost looks, it has like a very natural finish. I only wish it had better coverage. Okay, it is 9.30, I'm going to finish my makeup off camera let the wear test begin dun 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 all right you guys two hours in this is what my face looks like i'm actually pretty happy with it i think it looks good the coverage obviously hasn't changed but it hasn't come off there is a little bit of shine appearing in the center of my face which makes me a little worried but the fact it's still on my face is quite nice it doesn't feel creamy sometimes very creamy foundations kind of stay creamy on your face even though i powdered and all of that but the creaminess is fine it doesn't feel heavy on the skin don't have much to say about it let's keep going i shall see you in two more hours hour number five and i definitely need a blot so let's do that first this is what the piece of paper looks like there's a little bit of transfer but it doesn't look bad i'm very very surprised to see that the foundation is still on my face at hour number five i really did not expect it to last this long <laughs> whatsoever i'm gonna wear it for a little bit longer obviously it is coming off some of the areas of my face especially on my jaw for a fiver that's not bad at all hour number seven you guys and honestly i look at myself in the camera and i don't look good but when i look at myself in the mirror i don't look bad in real life the foundation looks very very natural it's like a very thin layer welcome to mr mop in the background I don't know what do you think the redness is peeking through you can see the redness of my cheeks 
but overall I feel like it's a very lightweight foundation so if you don't have a lot of spots and if you need like a medium coverage foundation this is actually really nice now I've blotted though we don't have much foundation left on the face I think it was just sitting on the top and that oil broke it down so it came off as I was blotting my face so I'm number seven it's gonna break down but I still feel like it's not a bad foundation for a fiber like it's definitely not bad do I prefer it more than the liquid version of photo focus no I don't I do prefer the liquid version the bottle version not the stick but if you have more of like a combo skin then it might look better on you because the liquid version is a lot more matte i guess that wraps it up actually because it doesn't it doesn't look good <laughs> as always i hope you have enjoyed that if you did make sure to like comment subscribe thank you so much for watching you are the best